Even or Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. In this video, we're going to cover the Winter Wonderland sale for the Oculus Go. So Oculus have a sale. If you go to your store on your Oculus Go now, look under Winter Wonderland. If you go to the store on the Oculus Go or the website, you can see that there are a ton of the best games and apps on the Oculus Go on sale some of them half price or better so it's definitely worth checking out now if i've showed you in my headset the store uh, half of them i own so you won't be able to see the prices so what i'm going to do i'm going to jump on the website quickly kind of scroll through them kind of give you my kind of quick overview of each of them and kind of which ones are worth your money or not so uh, stay tuned Right, so here we are on the Oculus Go website. So you can do this via the app or you can do it in your Oculus Go headset, it's the same sort of thing. But here I'm able to show you the prices. They will be in pounds, but if you kind of, I try I try and sort of guesstimate what it will be in dollars so you can kind of have a good idea. But it's usually sort of a, a dollar or two more uh, compared to the UK prices. So first up we have Cover. That's uh, today's daily deal. So that's still on for another 23 hours. I don't know, don't know when this video will go up, but sort of jump on and grab that. That's a great game. It's um, one of those ones that kind of bridges the gap between sort of somebody in the headset who's the uh, uh, the thief and you're sort of in 3D space solving puzzles, but then somebody on a mobile phone can download the companion app and play with you, and they become the hacker and they have to kind of like hack into things and control things and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got a video down below where I did a kind of quick playthrough of the first level with my other half. Uh, that's worth checking out if you're kind of unsure about that. I'll put a link down below for that. Um, but it's definitely worth picking up. It's one of the, probably the best games on the Oculus Go. So if you can get it, get it. You don't even have to be on the same network. Somebody can be the other side of the world. They enter your code from your inside your headset and they can be the hacker. So it's a great game to kind of bridge that gap between uh, people in the VR headset and people separate sort of thing. So worth checking out. Next up we have the Chill Games Pack. So if we click on this, it's £14.99, which I imagine must be, what, $20? Uh, and you get some pretty good games and apps in here. So you get Catan. Uh, it's not one that I own and probably not one that I'm that interested in, but I do know a lot of people do love Catan, and that is a really good uh, version. Ocean Rift is probably one of those great apps for kind of showing people VR for the first time because there's not a lot of interaction. There's a little bit, um, but it's mainly kind of underwater, fish and whatever all around you. Really good high-quality stuff. Daedalus is like, um, what would you call it, like a puzzle platformer uh, where you kind of point the controller and you kind of float from platform to platform to try and get around. It's really well done and looks really well, looks um, looks really good as well, so worth getting. Land's End's a bit short, but it is one of the kind of standout games as well because it's uh, got a very sort of visual style to it, very easy to play, very relaxing, uh, and it's definitely a fun one. Racket Fury. Racket Fury is probably one of the best ping pong games on the Oculus Go, um, and they're coming out with an update in the new year to add multiplayer and some more features. So it's probably worth picking up while it's on sale now, and then you'll have it ready for when the multiplayer update comes out. For now, you just play against AI, and, and that's it. And but it is you know full sort of racket control, um, and it you know people people rave about it, and I, I do like it. I do prefer one of the other ping pong games, but I think once they bring out multiplayer, it probably will actually be the best ping pong game on the Oculus Go. And then we have Apollo Eleven VR Mobile, uh, great VR experience. If you want to kind of experience being on Apollo Eleven, absolutely grab that. So for fourteen ninety nine or I guess twenty dollars, it's on sale for two days. Grab it now. For some reason, we have virtual virtual reality in here, and it's not discounted in price. Uh, if you do see that discounted at some point, sometimes the discounts come through a little bit late. It's worth getting. Uh, it's kind of a, you kind of it's like an Inception version of VR. So you're in VR helping AI by going to their VR world. So you're putting on more VR headsets to go to different VR worlds to help different AI. Uh, it's it's a very cute sort of game. Um, very well done. A lot of humour in there. So it feels a bit like Portal as well, kind of with the humour and the kind of how it's set up. But uh, yeah, one worth checking out. Ones is a cool uh, sort of uh, battling game where you're shooting each other with magic and you're kind of teleporting around. It's kind of a 1v1. I think it's 1v1. Is it still 1v1? Or has it changed now? Uh, but that's worth getting. Yeah, absolutely. At half price, that's worth it. Uh, Thumper. Yes, 3 dollars half price. That's kind of one of the premium games on the Oculus Go. A bit like an endless runner 
go sort of uh, music game, rhythm game, where you're kind of racing down a track as fast as you can and you're kind of using your controller to sort of uh, get around that track and fight bosses and that sort of thing. Definitely one worth checking out. At half price, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, and it's had updates as well to allow normal controller support. So if you've got an Oculus Go, sorry, if you've got an Xbox controller, you can use that. Republic VR, that's definitely one to get as well. And what's that, 43% off? It's a kind of fun sort of stealth puzzle game. That's once again one of the sort of premium games on the Oculus Go. It's worth getting that one. Rush, absolutely. Yeah, Rush is a great game. If you've kind of got some VR legs and you can handle a bit of VR, you're basically sort of uh, gliding, <laughs> like uh, uh, straight down sort of mountains and racing and through hoops and that sort of thing. And it is, it does look good as well. It doesn't look much worse than even the Rift version, that sort of thing. So it's worth checking out that one. And Drop Dead's definitely one worth picking up. It's a kind of multiplayer zombie shooter. Uh, it's really well done, does look really good, and it's a lot of fun. So absolutely pick that one up, especially as, uh, what, half price again? Perfect. End Space. This is one of my personal favourites. I do like End Space. It's a space shooter, and it looks really good. So you're in a sort of spaceship, you're controlling it, but you can look around at the entire time. Worth Definitely worth checking out. 25% um, off, so not the biggest discount, but then saying that, it's less than a fiver, so worth getting. Ocean Rift was in that pack before. Uh, once again, it's half price here, so it's yeah, definitely worth picking up. If you don't want to get the whole pack, Ocean Rift is one of those ones where it's great to show off people new to VR. It's one of those ones you want to show to your mum or your family uh, to get them bought in. Uh, absolutely worth it. Ultra Wings, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Only 20% off, so not a big discount. Um, but it's a, as you can kind of see, a um, flight sim type game. And it works really well. You use the go control to move around and sort of you know, steer your, your aircraft. There's lots of uh, sort of view options to kind of bring your view in to kind of make it less sort of... Um, give you less sort of VR sickness uh, and it works really well there's a lot of content in there and it's a lot of fun there's a lot of fun game modes in there to play so even at 20% off it's worth grabbing it's definitely one of the ones to keep an eye on uh, in the future if you don't grab it now SWAT Academy is like a gun range so you've got sort of cardboard cutouts in various different places um, popping out you know, shooting at you and whatever and you've got to try to shoot them and not shoot the hostages that sort of thing it's really well done really works really well and looks really good as well so yeah 39% off that's probably worth checking out Racket Fury as I said it's 33% off at the moment it's got an update coming in the new year there's got some beta testing going on so maybe worth picking up that now um, uh, you know it's usually eight quid so if you get it down for uh, what like sort of fiver that's pretty good Keep talking and nobody explodes. This is one of those ones that kind of bridges the gap similar to uh, Covert between sort of uh, VR and people in the real world. People in the real world use uh, like actually written down um, solutions and guides and whatever to how to defuse bombs. And the person in VR has to kind of talk with them and kind of decipher what they need to do on the bomb uh, to not blow it up. Uh, and it's really good. Yeah, so what's that? 37% off? Yeah, worth picking up. Coaster Combat. Now this is another one of those ones that is great for somebody who's new to VR. So VR sort of roller coasters are kind of almost cliche these days and I, I am sick of all the low quality coasters, uh, low effort coasters out there. But Com Coaster Combat is the opposite. It's a roller coaster, so it's great anyway, and it's a great roller coaster, it looks great, but it's a game as well. You're shooting things as you go down the track, hitting different ways to go down the track as you go, getting high scores. Yeah, absolutely worth picking up. 42% off, yeah, no brainer. £2.29, bargain. Please don't touch anything. It is kind of like an interactive puzzle game, kind of similar to some of the other ones. What, it's probably similar to like, uh, what am I thinking, what am I thinking? A bit like, a bit like Covert, but you're just doing the... Um, the thief side of it, uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, what's that? Fifty percent off? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's something. You, it's only single player, uh, so it's not unlike Covert. You can play it together, but it's single player, and it's a lot of fun. Worth getting. Pinball games, half price. Pinball FX Two VR. Absolutely. Let's grab that one. Pinball games do look quite nice in VR. I'll be honest, especially because you're kind of down there. You can feel the kind of depth of the the the, the table itself and everything that's going on on it. Um, and three bought three um, pinball tables even. Uh, there for two quid. I thought it's a pretty good, good, good price. Uh, Catan, I've covered already. If you like Catan, you'll know what this is. Uh, it's a sort of strategy, sort of board game type thing. Um, it is very good, but it's not one that's kind of ever really interested me. But I do know a lot of people love it and do rave about it. So if you do like Catan, you know what Catan is. I think that's a no-brainer. Star Chart, eighty percent off. Absolute bargain. I like this one. Star Chart is one of those kind of ones where you just literally. 
uh, planetarium type thing where you're looking around the uh, universe, uh, the Milky Way, um, and there's some interactive things. Like you can see there, it popped up with a kind of screenshot of um, uh, the moon landings and stuff like that. And you can go there, you can click on things, learn about them, you can learn about the planets, you can spin them around, you can look at the stars. Absolutely, that's a no-brainer for 79p. What's that, 99 cents? Absolutely. Overflight, that's a good flight sim game. Uh, that's what, 33% off, so not the biggest discount here, but uh, pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, it looks quite good. It's probably a bit more realistic to compare to uh, Ultra Wings. So Ultra Wings is a bit more sort of cartoony, where Overflight is a bit more serious, uh, World War II based. It's got a little bit more narrative to it and stuff, um, and it's really good. Yeah, worth checking out. Uh, Never Out. Uh, yeah, that this is a bit like if you ever watched the film The Cube. So you go in room to room or cube to cube, solving puzzles to get through, uh, and for half price and for two quid. Absolute bargain, yeah, grab that one. That's good, that's good fun for two quid. Astrius is another good one to pick up. It's a bit like a real-time strategy game uh, where you're kind of mining stuff and building cannons and, 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 and bits and bobs uh, to play through, and it's half price at the moment. So, yeah, that's a, a recommendation there. Uh, Gun Club 3 VR. That's another sort of... Uh, it feels a bit more like, was it, SWAT Academy Gun Club uh, because you're just kind of shooting sort of targets and sort of things that are coming around. It's pretty much the... A very much a similar game um they're the same price as well so you pick up one you pick up another this one i think looks like it's had an update of some sort so maybe it's worth checking out uh but yeah thumbs up anyway defense grid 2 half price i love my myself some defense grid this is a tower defense type game so you can get it on mobile you can get it on xbox you can get it on everything um and you're placing down towers and you know, aliens are kind of running running the path and you're shooting them sort of thing um and yeah i love i love Defense Grid. It's one of my, kind of my favourite games, my favourite sort of tower defence games. I went through a spate of playing tower defence games. I think this is probably one of the ones I, I played the most of. Um, and when I first got my Oculus Go, it was one of the first downloads I did. So yeah, worth getting that one. Deer Hunter VR, not one that I own. You're saving the whole 25%, a whole quid. Um, if you want to shoot wild animals, then check that out, I guess. So Titans of Space, half price, £1.99. Uh, that's good. It's kind of like a um, slightly interactive uh, guided tour of space, science, all that good stuff uh, with some good narration. Um, and I think for a couple of quid, that's actually good good value for money. Death Horizon Zombie Shooter uh, is pretty good uh, for, what's well, that, only 25% off, so you're saving a quid, but it's a discount is a discount. It's definitely one of the better VR sh zombie shooters out there. Decent graphics. The graphics don't look as good as the screenshots make out. So bear that in mind. But it still looks quite good. It's quite fun to play. Definitely worth picking up. Daedalus, I've already covered. Uh, that's kind of that puzzle sort of platformer game where you're kind of floating from platform to platform, pointing your controller sort of in sort of light gravity and there's various other div different platforms to play through. So 31% off if you kind of fancy that sort of thing. Definitely worth picking up. Tac Terra is a real-time strategy type game. That's definitely worth picking up as well. That's kind of a bit similar to sort of Civilization kind of strategy type thing but kind of in a tron type world um yeah worth picking up absolutely if you like strategy games 50 percent off bargain affected the manor if you like a little sort of scary sort of little adventure um for some jump scares why not i guess it's only 34 percent off so it's not the biggest discount probably not i wouldn't put this on the top of my list i have all these games and apps but if you don't own it already and you like a little jump scare go for that one floor plan half price bargain now this one isn't very long so actually for being half price it's actually quite good value for money and um, basically you kind of have an elevator you go floor to floor and each door you open has kind of like a different environment inside with things that you can interact and you have to go floor to floor taking things with you dropping things off activating different things to progress um, and affect each of the rooms to be able to complete it uh, until you can uh, sort of uh, get to the end um, yeah so half price absolutely worth getting Cloudlands Mini Golf is one of my personal favourites on the Oculus Go. It's probably one of the ones I've played the most, mainly because it's multiplayer, so you can play online against people on other platforms. Um, and it's just quite a fun little golf game. You can just chat away and sort of chill out and whatever. And it's something I play quite often on my live streams. So if you ever want to kind of join me on my live streams in the future, you don't want to pay $7.99, pay $5.35 now. Bargain. Guided Relaxation VR, that's uh, I think if you kind of need to chill out and you want some high quality environments, that's actually quite a good one. It's got some nice high quality videos and backgrounds, that sort of thing. They're not the best. There are better ones out there, but I think for what it is for two quid, that's not a bad deal. Blaze Rush, absolute must buy this one. I love this game. 
this is kind of like micro machines but in vr so you're sort of uh, sort of isometric view looking down you're kind of touching your control pad to steer the car in whichever direction you want to go and um, shooting projectiles at each other multiplayer it's a re i mean it's actually quite surprising how vr it feels the camera is actually quite close to the cars it's not really far away and you're kind of like this big sort of overseeing guide you're actually kind of quite close down there watching it um so it gets quite kind of intense to play um and it's 20 to 25 percent off but yeah it's, it's on definitely on top of my sort of uh, must own list augmented empire is a bit similar to um republic uh vr was that on offer yes so a bit like that so it's a puzzle sort of top down sort of game um yeah worth it 37 percent off it's a fun little puzzle game if you like that sort of thing a single player stuff uh, absolutely sort of worth getting. Darknet is kind of like a hacking puzzle game, kind of hacking things <laughs> and solving puzzles, that sort of thing. It's worth getting actually for half price if you kind of want a, a good little sort of puzzler kind of hacking VR sort of experience. It's quite hard to explain actually. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on it at some point, but um, it's worth kind of getting. It's definitely for half price, that's a bit of a bargain. The Well. Yes, this is one actually I don't own. I'm not sure why I don't own it, but now it's £2.29, 42% off. I'm definitely going to pick it up. It's sort of a narrative driven sort of experience, and it's something I've always intended to pick up. So check back with me on how good I think that is. But the reviews and what I get from other people is that it's a must buy. So I'm going to check it out. Anshar Online is a bit similar to N Space, um, sort of uh, shooter, space shooter. Actually, once again, 20 25% off. So it's a bit. bit Bit of a stingy discount there, but it's good, high quality, looks good, feels good. Um, obviously, if you can kind of stomach flying around, it's worth getting. Um, and yeah, yeah, absolutely recommended. Uh, along together, once again, only 25% off. Being a bit stingy, those discounts there. Come on, at least 50, come on. Um, but that's a fun little cute sort of platformer. You play the role of a hand, sort of a floating hand, and you're guiding this little child, this little kid, um, around sort of different levels, moving different things for him or her. Um, and helping them through, get through the you know, pull down bridges or pull down boxes and, and guide them around. And yeah, absolutely worth the money. And even six quid, that's actually good investment. There's a fair bit of content in there. You'll play, be playing for a few hours. Red Halls, first person sort of horror corridor um, game. Uh, going sort of level to level, sort of trying to avoid being captured or killed. Uh, worth checking out, absolutely. And it's only 25% off again, so you're saving a quid. But if you kind of fancy that kind of horror game, probably one of the better ones you can get on the Oculus Go. Uh, I know it scares a lot of people. There's a lot of sort of content in there, and you can kind of keep going. I think a lot of the levels are procedurally generated. So technically, the content is kind of infinite in a way. Um, so yeah, thumbs up on that one. And if you want even more things on sale, there's an all sale thing, and it shows you all the stuff that's on sale, including loads of other stuff. And I'm not going to go through all these, but, you know, check back on my videos. If you kind of think any of these take your fancy, check them out. There's even some new stuff in here that's not been out for a while, like Smash the Beats or Speed Surfer or Voxel Fly or uh, loads of stuff that's not been out for a, not been out for long. Oh, look, B-Team's even discounted. Um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, you know, it's probably the best time, actually. Some of the stuff that's in here is some of the best stuff you can get on the Oculus Go and worth kind of trawling through, checking out, grabbing some bargains. If you want to leave me a comment down below, if you kind of see any of these for sale games or apps and you want to know a little bit more, you want to get my, my, my quicker sort of opinion on them, put the name of it down below in the comments and I'll try and put, do, well I will, do a comment back sort of if I've played it, if I've got any opinion on it, I'll let you know what I think. Uh, but overall, yeah, pretty good sale. So there we go. That's the Oculus Go Winter Wonderland sale. I don't know how long this video is, but hopefully it's give you kind of a little insight into what all the games are and what they do. Um, we didn't kind of click into them and kind of show much gameplay or anything like that because there was just so many of them. But hopefully we've whizzed through them fast enough that this isn't just a super long video. But do let me know in the comments down below. Which of these are you picking up? Do you already own any? Which do you recommend? Um, I'm always interested to know. But hopefully you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkles, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.